I did say good Google the Moo Moo. I did. I, I like good Google the Moo Moo. What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man Theo Bola, and welcome to a. This should make you think. Episode of I ain't saying. I'm just saying with the raw with the nation. <laughs> Oh man, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. If you know me, grow me, sharing is caring. Why? Because of that. Sharing is caring. No one is growing. It is. So do that. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. I got a few days left. We still at 394. Tomorrow's the 19th. I, you know, tomorrow the 19th. A few days out. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. But anyway, um, Y'all see the title. Tomorrow is not promised, especially to the Chala fans. Like, damn, Theo, why would you say it? that's That's kind of heavy, Theo. Why would you go there? Hold on. Be right back. So yeah, that was Mr. Uh, Mr. Ray Smith, 59 years of age. If he turns 60 this year, I'm turning 54. That means he got me about six years, right? Black Panther came out when, 2018? That means Mr. Smith was, what, 55? Say he learned how to read when he was three or four. Three, because he was born in 63. Black Panther came out in 66, right? 52 years. Him being able to read, understand, process information, everything. 52 years for the character that resembled him. His Superman, his, his Batman. 52 years for him to see that character on screen. 52. And as of April 10th, he's lucky for it to be 59 to 60. Yeah. He shouldn't be here right now. But by the grace. I said to someone today, Top G, one. Shout out to you. Top G, I had no idea you were female. Listen here, I love the women that are rocking with us. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. She talked about a barrier. And the thing is, is I love the fact that People know how to respectfully disagree with one another and, and 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 move on. Like if we can disagree, we all know what we want. At the end of the day, we can agree to disagree. Like, and you know, I, I disagree with the variant. I disagree with the variant because I'm tired of us as black people settling. That's what we do. We settle. We we want to compromise. We want to no. I'm nobody else is doing that. And I'm, I'm tired of being the one that's asked to do that. I'm tired of being the one that's looked at. The, well, you go, No, I'm not doing that. If everybody else comes in guns blazing, I'm coming in guns blazing. I, if everybody come in asking nice, I'm coming in asking nice. But you know what I want at the end of the day? The same damn result everybody else got. And I'm not selling anything else. No, I said, I'm selling. And that's what we've been doing. Settling. That's what we keep suggesting, to settle. We say we cool with waiting. Well, how cool, how long did Mr. Smith have to wait? He had to wait 52 years? Why do you think that's right? Why do you think that's something that you should even ask for? Like, no, I get it, I understand it, but come on. 
Because you think you're going to be here that long? Because you think you're going to be here that long? It's, part, it's quite a few cats that saw Black Panther in 2018 ain't lived long enough to see Black Panther too. There were people born during the Civil Rights era did not live long enough to see Barack Obama become president. Do we think that's fair? I look at Mr. Smith as being kind of like a father figure, even though I I I, it, I call him Cat Daddy. Because <laughs> he reminds me of Dresser from the Five Heartbeats. He does. He does. I, Mr. Smith, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You do. But I look at him as a father figure because if you talk to him, he carry himself just like that. Or oh, once you get to that age of 50, you just take off to a whole new level of maturity. You leave him. Because I'm not there. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not there. I'm not there. I believe I get there one day. I'm not there. But uh, as a man, as a leader, it's your responsibility to take care of the young and the old. We learned that in the military. We learned that in the Marine Corps. You're supposed to take care, as a leader, you're supposed to take care of your weakest first. It's how you ensure that you have the human resources to do what you need to do. Some people are going to misconstrue this video, and please, please don't. The thing is, is just when you think about people who you know today or tomorrow, you know today, and can be gone tomorrow, and they love Black Panther, it just hits different when you know you could have lost them. Because you be at the movie theater, and maybe this is the catharsis that we're going to be getting that we looking for I didn't know we needed it but you're going to be in the movie theater it's going to be messed up because you're going to be thinking about Chad with Bozeman so you had come to a place of peace and you're going to relive that moment but then you're also going to think about your friends and family members that did not live long enough to see this movie and they love this character no different than Ian and Taylor who did not live long enough to see Black Panther Mr. Smith, I'm glad you're still here. It would have been jacked up because I don't know how we would have known something would have happened to you, but I'm glad that you're still here. And to the older fans of T'Challa, we're not waiting. That's not the message. That ain't, that's not going That's not going to sit right in my spirit. And honestly, truth be told, black being what it is, black supposedly being what it's supposed to be, it shouldn't sit right in anybody's spirit. It shouldn't. It shouldn't sit right in enough of our spirits for us, enough of us to have the passion to do what needs to be done. Recast the child. There are better ways of honoring Chadwick Boseman. Stop open for cooking the grits and use the Doom War storyline. The mantle is for the royal blood, the royal family. It is not just something to be handed. No sacred heirloom, family heirloom is handing the Black Panther mantle off to just anyone and everyone just to push a narrative is not only disrespectful to the character 
the man who created the character, but it's also disrespectful to the actor who portrayed the character because they knew and they've told you in their own words too many occasions how significant and how important the character of T'Challa, a.k.a. the Black Panther is. Young and old. I ain't say I'm just saying.